We are back, people. What's up, man? DK's World. Uh, before we get into it, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to make this a quick video. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the comments, uh, hit the like button, man, so this shit can start popping up in people's um, feed, you know what I'm saying? Also, hit the notification bell, so for when this video drops, for when the future videos drop, uh, I get that traffic, you know what I'm saying? And you're notified, you feel me? Uh... Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, that, that the first, what a way to start the fights off, Luis. Luis, God, how do they say this dude's last name? Luis, Kosi, 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 and Sasha Palanikov. God damn, bro, he almost had Sasha finish in the first round, and then Sasha came back and got the W, bro. The last two rounds, one, yeah, it went to decision. Um, but god damn, dude, he almost finished him in the first round, right? And then. Uh, Almost finished him in the first round. I mean, honestly, the shoot, the 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 ref could have stopped it. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, he finished him in the third. That's what happened. Yeah, he almost finished it. Lewis Lewis almost finished Sasha in the first round, and then the second round he kind of found his found his shit, got his shit together, started taking off. The end of the first round, honestly, he started coming back on that Lewis cat man. And then uh, I did a parlay, so I had picked Sasha. You know what I mean to win, and uh, so I was super hyped for that fight, man. It was crazy, and then. Uh, Second round, he came out. He's doing his thing, beating him up a little bit. Third round came out, finished him, man. So, uh, great night. Great way to start the fights, uh, uh, you know, because it was just chaos and war from the very beginning. Next fight, Kyle Dawkins and Dustin uh, Stolfus. Um Kyle Dawkins won a three round decision. He looked cool. I knew he's. I felt like if I would if I would have put him in my parlay, I would have picked him. You know what I mean? I just didn't. And then uh, Alan Joe Bam versus Jared Gooden. I knew Jared Gooden was making his debut. I believe because uh, I knew I didn't know who that cat was. Night Train. I know he's a little swole dude. He's head hunting. I mean, that's a great. It was a great debut fight for him. Alan Joe Bam looked good too. I thought I was kind of scared for Alan Joe Bam just because, just because man, I like Alan Joe Bam a lot and. uh He's getting up there in age. Yeah, he's 37 years old. You know, still looks like a young, handsome man. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. Fucking stud. Uh, but I just got nervous. I wasn't sure. Uh, but I picked Alan Joban for my shit, too. So uh, he got the he got the W. He got the decision. Good on Alan. You know what I mean? Then we move to the prelims. Uh, Daniel Rodriguez, Nicholas Dalby. Now, I want to know what y'all think. Uh, let me know in the comment section, man, if y'all thought Daniel uh, D-Rod got got robbed. I thought he got robbed. I put Daniel in all of my parlays, bro. I couldn't I just thought he was going to beat Nicholas Dalby. And I thought he did. I thought he lo I thought he won uh if he lost the round, I thought maybe he lost round 3. I think. I think he won round 1 and 2, and then I thought maybe if he lost the round it was round 3. I have to rewatch it. I already forgot. But I know at the end of the fight I thought Daniel Rodriguez won, so that so 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 that was messed up. And then Ant, uh, the next fight, Antonina Shevchenko versus Ariane Lipsky. What a fight. Ariane Lipsky was kind of getting the better of um, Antonina on the feet. And then uh, Antonina would take her down and um, beat her up, you know. Did that the first round. Did it the second round. Finished her in the second round. TKO. And then we got uh, Joaquin Buckley versus Jordan Wright. Uh, another finish by Joaquin Buckley in the second round. I mean, it was good. It was good. Go. I mean, he almost had him finish in the first round. Got to the second round. He was still. Uh, it seemed like a little, little loss, and then just got put away. You know what I mean? Oh, man, Brandon Moreno, Brandon Royval. Man, that fight. I would have liked to see that fight play out for real. You know what I mean? Because Brandon Royval's shoulder got dislocated, so he kind of stopped fighting when he was on the ground, just started holding his arm. like You know what I mean? Because this shit was just popped out like... It looked like it was popped out like that because they just twisted the wrist. They just kind of, you know, to pop it back in, just kind of twisted it, you know, like grabbed his wrist and then just like... Like shifted it like like this. You know what I mean? Moved it back into place. But goddamn, it looked uh, it looked nasty, though. And he's, you heard him scream in the middle of the transition. So I knew something was up, and I was like, God damn it, because I picked Brandon Roval to win win these fights, uh, and uh, he didn't beat Brandon Moreno. So Brandon Moreno's probably next in line for the flyweight title, you know what I'm saying? But that was a great fight. It was a tight fight. Uh, and then you start the main card. You go on to the main card, boom, Mauricio uh, Shogun versus Paul Craig. Paul Craig gets the second-round finish. Uh, kind of that's what I thought would happen. That's what I thought would have happened the first fight, but just turned out to be, you know, uh, it is what it is. They got a draw. Uh, but, yeah, I finished. Dana kind of said he wants uh, Shogun to retire. 
But we'll see. I think he has two. They said he has two more fights on his contract. We'll see if they release him like they did Anderson Silva. You know, maybe just out of respect if he still wants to continue fighting or whatnot. Uh, Caitlin Jukagian beat the shit out of Cynthia Calvillo. I would have liked Cynthia to win. I really am a fan of her. She's from out here. She's from San Jose. You know what I'm saying? So I really like Cynthia just because she's from from the hood. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Caitlin Jukagian is a beast. She's got nice stand up. Once she gets in her rhythm and finds her range, bro, it's hard, bro, to um, to uh put a stop to her so she kind of pieced her up the whole time Cynthia don't get me wrong Cynthia landed big shots but Caitlin pieced her ass up you know what I mean three round three round fight beat her up all three rounds basically uh first round could have been I guess first round could have been a toss up second third not even close you know what I mean uh Mike Perry to means to means that's what I kind of thought was gonna happen I feel like Mike Perry just had zero interest didn't come in shape looked a little fat you know Looked a little fat for him. He, he, you know, it's not like he was like out of shape. Like he, he looked out of shape, but he didn't look like Mike Perry shredded, jacked. You know, Mike Perry with abs. He looked a little puffy. Looked a little bit like me out there, little fat boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Tim Means did his thing. Beat his ass all three rounds, basically. Pieced him up. You know, got the three round decision, uh, unanimous. Uh, Mike Perry, of course, had no one in his corner. This is why you need a corner, because uh, you just go to the corner and your people are telling you, do better, you know, take him down. Take him down, Mike. Just take him down. You're doing good. Like, come on, bro. You know, I don't like that. I need Mike with a corner, bro, because Mike Perry's a savage, and he's a lot better than than what we're seeing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, co-main event, of course, Valentina versus Jennifer Maya. Hey, man, you know, Jennifer Maya made uh, Valentina look human in one of the... I mean, she won round. She took her down, had had control of her, didn't do anything besides hold her down. But put put Valentina on the... Uh, it, could, it showed some openings for Valentina. Made her look human, made her look beatable. I don't know how beatable, but, you know, made her look human a little bit. Like, put her on the cage, c- clinch. I mean, if someone got real good uh, fence work and clinch work... They might be able to fuck with Valentina and steal some rounds. You know what I mean? Steal some points. But for the most part, Valentina won the first round. I think the second round she lost. Third round, fourth round, fifth round. Uh, just beat her up. You know what I mean? Took her down. Slammed her down hella hard a few times. You know, like three or four different slams. Uh, third and f- uh, The fourth and fifth round just pieced her up. Pieced her ass up. And then would slam her. You know what I mean? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. So it was a decision by Valentina. People were thinking, like, maybe she, you know, showed a little bit, Jennifer Meyer. But shout out to Jennifer Meyer. She looked good. She looked strong. She definitely was strong. That's a fact. She was strong. You could see her upper body was looking pretty good. You know what I mean? But, uh, and then he got the main event. First round finish. Davis and Figueredo uh, shredded. Got uh, Alex Perez and uh, Guillotine and just choked him out, tapped him out. Um, It was nice. Honestly, he had Davison on the ground for a second, and then, and then it looked like he like put his head into his arms and just kind of gave him. And then he like lifted up. I don't know why he was lifting Davison up in that position. It looked like it would have just choked his ass out more because his head was almost out. And then he started like lifting up, pulling back, and picking up Davison while Davison's got a guillotine and just fucking locked it in. It seemed like. And uh, but anyways, tapped on his back. Boom, that's it. That's all she wrote. D. Avison, first title defense. You know what I mean? And that was the end of UFC 255. And we tried to, I tried to bang through that as fast as I could. Still, God, God you. I'm trying, I was trying to get under, uh, I was trying to get under five minutes, but that just ain't going to happen, man. Anyways, if you like this video, man, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified when these things are uploaded. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just uh, fuck with me. Give me that traffic. You know what I mean? Give me that view. Um, I'll be back soon this week. I'm going to have a busy-ass week this week, but uh, I'll get with y'all. Next week is Derek Lewis and Curtis Blades. You know what I'm saying? Two big boy heavyweights, two of my favorite heavyweights. So uh, I'll make a video on them and see what's good. You know what I mean? I'm out of here. Peace.